Hello students. Today we are going to start the test of the morphology of cockroach. Already we have discussed the first part of the cockroach morphology. In that morphology first part we have uh, studied that the cockroach, the body is divided into three parts. What are they? Then the mouth, then the thorax and then the abdomen. Mouth is the anterior most region, thorax is the middle region. Then in the thorax we have three segments. Then after that the next part that is the abdomen which is composed of 10 segments. Now uh, in this video we are going to discuss the mouth part that means the anterior most region, head region and then we will see the jointed legs why this uh, group of organism cockroach belong to the in uh, that group of organism that is the phylum arthropoda because this organism have the jointed legs so let us see if it comes to the uh, head region this is present actually at the right angle of the body so suppose this is the body right then the head will be present like this right so this is present at right angle okay of oh, 90 degree so it is present at right angle next one uh, the head attached to the body part by means of a muscle okay that is a very small movable neck is there so this neck is actually have some muscle which allow the maximum uh, movement to the head so the head can be movable because of the neck region so here they are going to have the neck region so this neck is attached to the muscles that muscles will help this organism's head to move at a considerable angle now first of all just see about their uh, head region so this head which is present at a right angle to the body see this head basically is made up of how many parts see the head is made up of basically have three parts what are they compounded second one this is the antenna okay and the third one that is the mouth part so this part this is the mouth part so how many parts are there present in the head region there are three part what are they compound eye then the antenna and then the mouth part okay remember that if it comes to the eye remember that this eye is going to have uh, around 2000 uh, oma theta or simply we can call the 2000 lenses are there so that's why this eye is called as the compound eye why because per eye consists of around 2000 lens or this lens in case of cockroach this is known as oma theta right so this is the visual unit of the cockroach that is the compound eye each eye is going to have around 2000 of the lenses or omatida and this organism's vision is mosaic vision okay remember that their vision is mosaic vision so this is about the eye next one second part what is that that is the antenna so antenna is present at actually in a small socket like structure this is known as the antenary socket so here this antenary socket is present just in front of the eye so just in front of the eye they are going to have this antenna it's one pair and this antenna it's actually small small beaded like okay they are going to have small small bead like structures so this antenna is basically responsible or responsible for two senses what are these two senses one is the tactile receptor okay it's a tactile receptor and the second one this is also one olfactory receptor okay now what is the tactile receptor remember if it is a tactile receptor it is a touch receptor okay so touch is because of the receptor called the tactile receptor and the olfactory receptor which is responsible for getting the different smell 
right so this antenna is basically for two functions one is it is helping this organism to sense what is present around them basically this antenna help in getting the uh, sense of food nearby them and the smell of the food or some other parts chemicals present in the environment so that is about the olfactory receptor and the, the tactile receptor which is actually because of this antenna right remember that the next one the third part what is that that is the mouth part okay and one thing also remember that here this is suppose the mouth part is there so mouth is present at a downward direction right so as the mouth is present at downward direction what we can call it this type of mouth is known as the hypognathous mouth okay now what is the meaning of hypognathous mouth hypognathous mouth means this mouth is actually present at the downward right suppose this is the cockroach okay the head is like this at right angle it is present and this one will be the mouth so this mouth is projecting towards the downward direction so that's why this is known as the hypognathous hypognathous type of mouth part this mouth part is basically what type of mouth part what type of food they actually take this is the biting and chewing type of mouth part okay so the mouth part is around uh, they can uh, comparatively take uh, at least they can take it uh, actually the hard type of food substances also like they can um, they can take they can bite even the oats right so this is the biting and chewing type of mouth part now to see if it comes to their mouth part the mouth is going to have this much of structures and yes very much important this is given this diagram is given in your NCRT also so directly the pictures can given to your exam and you have to find out what is that structure actually okay so let me describe what are these actually so this is the mouth part right so they are going to have uh, upper lip this upper lip is known as this is the upper lip right so this upper lip here it is present this is the upper lip right so this upper lip is known as the labrum next one the lower lip this is the lower lip okay so this lower lip is known as the labia okay so they are going to have a pair of upper lip that is known as labrum and the lower lip that is known as the uh, labia now after that on the sides okay suppose this is the labium uh, sorry this is the labrum and this is labium on the sides on the lateral sides what they have the pair of mandible and pair of maxilla so they have a pair of maxilla and the mandible they are the jaws right next one they are going to have a tongue also so that tongue is nothing but the hypopharynx so this is nothing but what this is the tongue right so this is about the mouth part remember the mouth part is hypognathous type of mouth this is projecting at the downward direction to the body next one this mouth part is uh, biting or chewing type so that's why they can take a uh, uh, comparatively hard food substances also they can chew or bite the hard substances like wood next one their mouth is going to have this much uh, six parts what are they the labrum or the upper lip labium or the lower lip then a pair of maxilla and power and a pair of mandible in the middle they are going to have the tongue or this tongue is also known as the hypopharynx so remember that this is important after that let's just move to the next part that is the uh, their jointed legs so why they are belonging to the phylum arthropoda let's just see after that see this cockroach this group of organism is belonging to the phylum arthropoda okay so why it is coming to this phylum that is arthropoda we need to know the meaning of arthropoda right what is the meaning of arthropoda arthro means joints okay so they are going to have jointed 
Pota means leg. Okay, so this organism have jointed legs. If you see their jointed legs, how actually this look like? Okay, so they're going to have how many parts? Okay, so they're going to have coxa. Coxa is the widest part, right? So this is the coxa. This so the first part is known as the coxa. It is the widest part. Then after that, see, the second part is the femur, right? But this femur, this is attached to the coxa by means of a, a structure, a joint actually. This is known as the trochanter, right? So what is a trochanter? It actually joins the coxa with the femur, right? So that joins in uh, osteology, that means the study of bone is the osteology. In osteology, it is known as the articulation. Joint means articulate. So this trochanter will articulate the coxa with the femur, right? So the next one, see the femur, which is the hairy part, which is the middle part. After the coxa, the second part will be the femur, okay? So this is actually not hairy, it's spiny. Then the third part, which is the longest part or the longest section of the cockroach leg, that is the tibia, okay? So this is the longest part okay longest part of the cockroach leg that is the tibia so this tibia is also spiny okay so this tibia will actually present after the femur so first part first segment is coxa then the second joint this next segment that is known as a femur in between there is a joint that is known as a trochanter then after the femur the next part is the tibia which is the longest part and which also is spiny after the tibia, the next part, the fourth part that is known as the tarsus. This tarsus is actually made up of small, small units, small, small units. Units are known as the podomere. So these are, these are five units present. So these five units are known as the podomere. Okay. And the last unit, this is known as the pre-tarsus. Okay. So tarsus, which is made up of five units. The last unit will be known as the pretarsus. So this pretarsus will develop some claws so that it can have proper gripping. What is that known as? That is known as the pulvillus or the aurelium, right? So what is that? That is the tarsus, uh, which is made up of five small, small bead-like structures or the units. They're known as the podomere. And the last podomere that is known as the uh, pretarsus, which have the claws. So that is about the cockroach leg. Remember that how many parts, how many segments are there? Okay, we can call the segments or the parts. Okay, so how many parts are there? See the first part that is known as the coxa. After the coxa, this is the second part which is known as the femur. Okay, then after the femur, the next part is tibia. Okay, in between coxa and femur, what was present? Uh, articulation side that is known as the trochanter, isn't? Understand? The next one, after the tibia, what is the next part? That is known as the tarsus. Okay, understand? So, after the tarsus, the last tarsus, this is known as the pretarsus, which have the small claws. Okay, so how many parts are there? So, just see, tibia is the third part, fourth part is the tarsus, and the last part, which is actually the part of the tarsus itself, five units that are the podomere, last tarsus, last tarsus segment or the podomere that is known as the pretarsus, and this pretarsus is going to have the claws. Okay, so you just need to write that how many segments are basically present, four segments. What are they? Coxa, femur, tibia and tarsus. Last tarsus itself will have the claws. So that's all about it. Remember about the trochanter also. So that's all about the morphology we have completed. The first part we have completed that is the mouth part. That means the head. Then in that head we have the eyes. Then antenna and the mouth part. In the mouth part we have seen the labrum which is also known as the upper lip, then the labium or it's the lower lip and a, uh, a pair of maxilla, a pair of mandible and a hypopharynx. Then after that we have discussed the leg of the cockroach. How many legs are there? Remember that how many legs are present? There are three pairs. Okay, so three pairs of legs, how, where they are present? In the thorax. Okay, in the thorax, three pairs of legs are there. That means six legs. 
Each of the legs, they have different names. The first pair of legs that is known as the pre-thoracic uh, leg, second is the mesothoracic leg and the third one that is known as the metathoracic leg. So each leg that will be named differently. So first one is the prothoracic leg. Second one is the mesothoracic leg and the third one is the metathoracic leg. So how many? Six legs are there. Two, two prothoracic leg, two mesothoracic leg and two metathoracic leg. So that's all about the cockroach morphology. Hope you have understood. That's all about up to your syllabus. You just study it and do good in your exam. That's all about the video also. Thank you.